Tumi is looking for dugongs. This is one of the foremost sanctuaries for these placid sea creatures, and Tumi has an uncanny knack for finding them. Tumi helps manage Tetepare, a marine reserve in the Solomon Islands that's been given over almost entirely to nature. The seascape in these remote reaches of the Western Solomons is home to sharks and dolphins, dugongs and turtles, amongst many other creatures. In fact, the rarest specimens here are humans, for Tetepare is the largest uninhabited island in the South Pacific. Tetepare Island, just like any other islands here in the Solomon Island, it was inhabited by headhunters. Somewhere 150 to 200 years ago, the people left the island because of headhunting and disease. The descendants of Tetepare has come together, formed themselves into an association, and now we are doing conservation here on Tetepare Island. These are not conservationists, but ordinary people safeguarding the ecosystem that supports them. They realize the MPA means they will always be able to find fish nearby. With three and a half thousand members, the Tetapare Descendants Association works hard to support communities too, funding educational scholarships, cooperatives and alternative livelihood projects. Uh, Tetapare Island is important to us because we uh, have biodiversity. We have the different species we have to live with him. And also uh, the communities the surrounding areas, okay, the, uh, live low island and two water, harvesting water resources and all the using for help him water cell level. So, CTSP funding him important for him continue no conservation efforts with TDA for try and manage water resources. As a valuable part of the coral triangle, the Solomon Islands support some of the richest marine biodiversity on the planet. But a growing and similarly diverse population is putting pressure on this precious resource, one that is vital to sustaining countless livelihoods here. Through the Coral Triangle Support Partnership, many communities are leading their own conservation projects, just like the people of Tetapare. As part of the Coral Triangle Initiative, the government of the Solomon Islands is implementing more effective marine management policies to help them, so that down the line, it's Toomey's granddaughter that will benefit from the environment he's worked so hard to preserve.